bringing in Robin Drake. He's a retired FBI special agent and head of the counterintelligence behavioral analysis program. Uh, Robin, good morning. You know, I, I, not only do I respect the fact that you're also a former Marine, but this is the area that you've been working in for years. The Oklahoma State Bureau of Investigations is leading this search. They've called in the FBI. However, they're not saying how the FBI will actually assist. What resources can the FBI actually provide in this situation? Yeah, Nick, um, there's a lot of resources out there that they can provide. Uh, first, I think they're really going to focus on hopefully cell phone analysis, because if one or both of the missing women were carrying their cell phones, there's going to be a tracking, tracing ability of where they were last on, where they last uh, had access to the cell towers. And so that's going to tell us a lot. It also might tell us as to why and give us hints and clues as why there's no search going on where the vehicle was found, because that's not probably not where the women went missing according to what the cell phone analysis is saying and also other digital analysis. They're going to be possibly bringing in a profiling unit because unfortunately, anytime you have a contentious custody battle, we got a lot of data on this. These, these things can go um, south and sideways pretty rapidly when you have a lot of contention involved. And so they're probably going to be involving them as well. And this is something that investigators are familiar with, that the type of case that they're lo actually looking into. Now, Veronica Butler and Jillian Kelly went missing on March 30th, 12 days. Why are authorities asking for the FBI's help now? I was thinking about that a lot. There, there's a lot of reasons why that could have happened. Also, could be they were involved earlier on, but they just released that information now as well. When we don't have the exact data from the releasing authority, we don't know exactly when they were brought in. They might have been brought in earlier, like I said. But also, you know, they might have extended their resources to their limit. So now they're going to ask for more resources. Because another thing that the FBI can bring in, as well as other agencies, is personnel. You know, to conduct a vast amount of interviews that are going to be conducted as well. So I. Think I think once they reach the extent of what they could do locally and statewide is when they bring in the federals. Robin, more often than not, when we have a case like this, people often lob criticism um, at law enforcement. Uh, but authorities have faced criticism for not conducting a grid search now almost tweets into the investigation. Is there a reason that that has not happened? The only thing I can think of is that they have some sort of information from either what was found in the car or other investigative leads that they had that indicated that there's no reason to do the search around where the vehicle was found. Uh, from what I uh, saw and read, it looks like it's from about three miles from where their destination was. My only thought process here was that the women, they have some sort of leads or evidence saying that the women did not go missing where the vehicle was left and found. Robin Drake, once again, I want to thank you for joining us this morning. Oh, my pleasure, Nick. Thanks for watching, everybody. Go to joinnn.com to find News Nation on your television provider. Also, don't forget to click that red subscribe button below to get more of News Nation's fact driven, unbiased coverage.